Hi there, and welcome to the must know winter fashion hacks that every woman should know. A lot of the fashion hacks though that I see online are kind of like do it yourself, how to turn like a shirt into a sweater and socks into like arm warmers or something kind of crazy like that that never really seemed to work. These are gonna be really practical fashion hacks that are gonna be great style tips and ways to keep you warm. Just overall, have a better winter style experience. If you're new here, I talk all things affordable fashion, lots of Amazon, Walmart, and Target a few times a week and styling tips in there as well. So I'd love to have you join the fam. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into style hack number one. I don't know about you, but around the winter time, I find myself only wearing certain shoes over and over again because I'm scared of getting them wet. I don't know if it's where you live, but we do tend to get a fair amount of snow here where I live. So one of my best things I have found is waterproofing your shoes. That way you can still style and wear out your really nice shoes instead of just wearing the same old few pair. So the spray can crep and the product all natural beeswax are two really great water repellent um, products that you can go ahead and throw on any type of shoe. In fact, I actually recommend to do this year round to protect your shoes, especially if it's a more expensive shoe. For example, my Ugg boots, which are back in style now, which is super exciting. Um, I actually sprayed them about four years ago and I've worn them in snow, and when it's raining, all the things that you probably shouldn't do and they're in great condition, all things to crap. Style hack number two is all about layering. I feel like if you understand how to stylishly layer, it can make your winter wardrobe so much warmer and so much overall more stylish. So if you have a long closed button down shirt, it should be your base layer. So for example, if you have a chambray top or a button down, then you wanna layer a shorter vest or some type of sweater on top of that and have like the bottom of it so it could stick out. That way you have more layers helping you keep warmer and it also looks really stylish. Now, if your bottom layer is shorter or open, go ahead and throw on a flannel or a cardigan on top of that um, and that would style really, really well together. Crop shirts are all the trend right now. So this is a great instance if you're wearing that shorter, more cropped top, throw that flannel, throw that cardigan or like a coat again on top. And there you have two layers. You look super stylish and you can shed the layers if you start to get a little bit warmer. My skin is always so much drier in the winter time, so much drier. And one of the biggest things that does it is actually going outside in the winter when I take my dog for walks. Um, so a great tip that I have used that's really, really helped with dry skin is take your favorite moisturizer and put it on your hands and then put a pair of gloves on every time before you go outside. And dry heels tend to be more of a hereditary thing, but they always get so much worse in the winter for me. And I discovered these ankle moisturizing socks off of Amazon and they are the absolute best. I just slip these on at night and my heels have never been as soft as when I have used these. Easy to wash, you could wear them a few nights in a row. If you just wear them in bed, then throw them in the wash and they're good to go. They still have all their moisturizing benefits. And overall, this has helped so much with cracking dry skin that I get on my hands and overall just makes me feel so much better. If you live in a very cold area, you definitely wanna take on this next tip. And that is wool is the warmest clothing piece that you can wear in the winter. If you live in a colder area, I definitely recommend wool. Merino wool is actually the lightest, most soft wool. Um, and it's a great piece, in wool is a great piece in general for regulating your body temperature. Now, if you're someone who's sensitive to wool, it's itchy, a really great tip is to actually layer like a long sleeve, um, thin long sleeve shirt underneath or a tank top. And that would help with the itchiness. Or if you just can't stand like a completely wool, go with like partial wool. Um, H&M is some of my favorite, favorite winter sweaters. Um, and a lot of them have a, like a percentage of wool in them. Um, if you absolutely can't do wool, I would recommend cashmere. Cashmere is a beautiful, like just luxurious feeling sweater. Now with that comes a little bit of a higher price. They're gonna be good quality pieces and they're actually gonna keep you 80% warmer than just other regular sweaters. 
So I will have linked below some of my favorite wool sweaters that I would recommend for you guys. And let me know if you have ever put on a like, just kind of a hat and then you take it off and you have like frizzy or staticky hat hair. Listen, if you get a, a hat that has wool or cashmere in it, it'll help avoid that hat hair altogether and it helps keep your style too. So all around wool and cashmere is like the fabric piece to have in the winter. It just is gonna make you way more stylish overall. Next up is a quick but very useful one. I, a lot of my fancier shoes can sometimes have a very slippery sole to them. So you feel like you can't wear them in the winter because you're gonna slip on them. Well, a really good trick is to actually sandpaper the bottom of those shoes to give them a little bit of roughness and texture. And this will help prevent falling. So you actually can wear the really cute shoes. So a simple, but very effective one. There is actually a warmest way to style your scarf. And that is using the pretzel knot style. Now this is perfect if you want to layer it over top of a blouse or a top and you're going to be going outside. So this is perfect heading in and out of work, going out in the evening, taking your dog out, and it's relatively simple to do. This is also really great for layering. It's easy to throw on a top or a sweater and then throw your scarf on and then throw a coat on and it covers your neck and top chest area here. This is what I do when I go and take my dog out for a walk and it has made the biggest difference. It doesn't let cold air in, it really snuggles your neck. And trust me, I know what it's like when you're just like, oh, I don't really care and you throw your scarf on and then it's all bunched up and looks bulky in your coat. Try the pretzel style knot. Next up is one that I really didn't know I needed until I actually had it. And that is touch screen gloves. I can't tell you how many times I'm out or I'm in my car and I get a text message or I need to answer the phone and I can't because my gloves are on. These touchscreen gloves are an absolute lifesaver. You, it's just one of those things you didn't know you needed until you actually had it. Um, and actually on the tips, it'll have like an ability that you can actually use your phone. It's amazing, amazing technology. And you also can keep your hands warm at the same time. So great if you're driving or if you're just outside in general. Folding sweaters, slash storing sweaters is kind of a touchy subject. I don't know about you, but oftentimes when I have a sweater, what I have done is just kind of folded it up and stacked it on top in my closet. Then one day when I wanna grab one from the bottom, I'll pull it out, they'll all kind of just tumble and fall and I'll have to leave the mess because I don't have time to deal with it. And then before you know it, your whole closet is like jumbled sweaters everywhere. And it takes up a lot of space and just doesn't look good in general. So I recently discovered this sweater folding method. Now it works best with velvet hangers because it helps keep them on. It's like a non-slip thing, which I've shared before. If you followed me for a little while, velvet hangers are an absolute closet essential. So here's how you actually fold it. And when you do this method, it fits easier in your closet. It doesn't cause peeling here if you wanna hang it up like it normally does. Usually when I put on my sweater, I have these little like bumps from just putting on the hanger. So it'll avoid that as well. And when you fold it like this, it also avoids weird bunching um, throughout the sweater. Very simple to do. And once you try, you'll be like, this is amazing. Next up is a fun one, but trust me, it works. You know, when you have tall boots or over the knee boots and that you have them sitting and they just kind of, the top just flops off to the side and it just looks kind of messy and then can sometimes ruin the look of the boot or cross or cause creases if you have like a leather or faux leather boot. One really, really good hack is to either take like filler, when you know when you get a package and you have those plastic fillers, um, you can either stuff them with that or take pull noodles. This is especially great if you have taller boots because it helps it keep it rigid. Whereas sometimes using like the plastic um, filler will sometimes still kind of go to the side. It's great for shorter boots. Um, using a pole noodle, sticking it in there and then cutting it so it's not like sticking out is an absolute game changer. It helps protect your boots, help them stay nicer, longer. And it's just overall a style hack that I think everybody should be using for tall boots. This next tip is going to be essential for helping keep you warm and just looking stylish. And that is to always pair a tank top or a bodysuit underneath your sweaters, your tops, because it creates an extra layer of warmth. 
Um, I feel like sometimes when I'm wearing a sweater and it's super chilly in the office or it's just chilly in general, I don't want to take my coat off because I'm just chilly. So always wearing a bodysuit or a thermal long sleeve that's very thin under your sweaters or tops is a phenomenal way to add warmth without looking bulky um, and without having to wear your coat all the time. I particularly love this bodysuit from Walmart. It's very thin, but it just adds a little extra layer. And when you layer like that, you can easily take pieces off if you get a little too warm. All right, friends, that is going to conclude 10 must know winter style hacks that every woman should know. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you're gonna be using any of these style hacks this year. Don't forget to subscribe for more and follow me over on Instagram if you love all things affordable fashion. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.